Hey everybody, David and David here from PayItForward.com and Upphone.com. And Trudy, our new little kitty cat. And in this video, we're going to show you how to organize your home screen with iOS 14. A lot of new features here, adding widgets to the home screen. App library, offload apps is gone, or is it? Or so, is it? let's dive in. I've got my iPhone here, as you can see right now, pretty, pretty bland. Mm -hmm. But if I swipe left to right, your widgets are a lot more interesting now, a lot more engaging, and it's almost like an app preview now. It is, because it used to be that widgets were kind of this afterthought, but now, when you tap on it, it'll actually open the full-size app, and the real mind-blowing thing is what happens when you drag it to the home screen. Yes, so... Which you can actually do. Let's uh, start by pressing and holding here. Pressing and holding here, there we go. And just tap edit home screen. So I've got that plus button in the upper left hand corner of the screen. I can use this to, <laughs> add, to add widgets. Uh, so if I wanted to add a notes widget, a uh, battery widget, so I can see. That's one of the concerns people have with the iPhone 10 and newer with no home button, the, the battery indicator is not there. So I'll just add that widget. There it is. Very cool. Uh, so we want to drag this to the home screen. Oh yeah, totally. This makes so, a huge difference. You're gonna love this. Drag it. Look at that. Boom. Let's drag the weather widgets to the home screen too, or actually we could just add it a different way. Let's add it a different way because right. there are other options for you. So if we wanted to add the weather, you have the small square, you've got the wide rectangle and the gigantic square. Yes. Uh, that's a little bit too much for me, but I do like the wide square layout. So I'm just gonna tap add widget. Yep. There it is. So you're always gonna have the weather in your home screen. No need to get any fancy app. Trudy loves that. Loves it. Okay. Uh, one other thing we want to talk about with widgets is stack. So if you just start dragging widgets on top of each other, now you've got a stack, swipe up and down to see them. You can also do a smart stack. And when you add this widget, you've got a whole bunch of stuff. Is there a way to remove something from the smart stack? Yes, so if you start over again, press and hold, you can remove a specific item from your smart stack. Just tap remove music. Right, or you could just remove the whole stack. Or you can just delete the whole stack so you don't have a whole bunch of widgets taken up all over the place. Yeah, really so cool. Those are widgets. Uh, next thing I wanna talk about is the new app library. If you're like me, you like having your apps organized. And I originally set up a whole bunch of folders and then I started downloading more apps and they didn't really have a place and all of a sudden I had a whole page of apps that were not in folders. I have tons of apps everywhere. That is no longer an issue right. because of the app library. Apple is now intelligently putting your apps into specific folders. Right. I love the fact that you can search and that you can look through it alphabetically. Alphabetically. Super helpful. Or if I wanted to find a specific app, Facebook, there it is. Right. Very cool. I like the app library. And what's great about this is that you can start removing apps from your home screen and they'll still be in your app library. So if you press and hold on a specific app, Tap remove app and just uh, tap add to library. So it's gone from your home screen. But if I come over here to app library, Chrome is still there. You can still use it. Right, so delete app, you can do that. Or you can tap add to library, just deletes it from the home screen, but not from your phone. Yep. One last thing we want to talk about is offloading apps. Mm -hmm. That used to be an option when you press and held on an app icon, you could offload it. So it'd still be on your phone. It would save some data, but you would clear up most of the storage space. Right. Now to do that, you simply go to settings. Look at my it's layout. Little, my layout's over. all different yeah. now. Settings, general, iPhone storage, and then just tap on any app that you want to offload. Tap offload app, offload app. app. Yeah. There you go. That'll still be on your home screen or in your app library. You'll just have to tap on it, then it would automatically re-download. Totally not necessary unless you're really running low on space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is how to organize the home screen with iOS 14. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with any other questions and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great iPhone tips.